Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Lion Kafa Lab in the building. How have you been, guys? So, yeah, the, this vlog will just be kind of a day in my life kind of vlog. I'm presently on tea, a very late tea break. I should have gone to tea earlier than this, about an hour ago. But I got so carried away, I was so busy and... Um, some of my QC failed. Some of the QCs I did today failed. So I was trying to like um, troubleshoot and see what the problem what the problem is. But as at now, by the time I left, I was still waiting to because I had to like reconstitute. It was a QC for um, coagulation screen that failed. APTT, PT and the likes that failed. Not all the QC failed. Some of the QCs failed. Uh, we have about seven QC materials. Yeah. But on that analyze I was running about um, five. So some failed for some analytes. You get. Like the APTT was fine. But some of the PT failed and some fibrinogen failed. So of course you know and that's one of the reasons why it's always good to have like a backup analyzer so i already did, I already did maintenance and qc on the second analyzer it passed everything is fine so that's one of the reasons why we don't like do maintenance on two analyzers at the same time you have to be sure you have one analyzer running in case you have emergency samples to run you, you ensure that you are done with the maintenance of one analyzer before you move to the other one so yeah oh uh, okay it's fun though this will be the first time since i got to coagulation that i'll be having a field qc i've read it in the sop and i did according to what the sop says so i in you can you can have a question oh did you if qc fail yeah you do what the sop says now if qc, QC failure um the steps you take varies on the department you are in but generally you have things that are common qc failure could be a material failure it could be um the qc itself the problem could be the qc itself maybe um it's not viable maybe it's an old qc or it was not well reconstituted yeah the, the problem could be the reagents and the problem could be the analyzer but um, this time around, I'm not sure what it is because the QC actually, some of the QC that I ran on this particular analyzer passed on the first analyzer. So I'm still not sure what the problem is. But I reconstituted new set of QC for the ones that need reconstitution. And I'm going to like repeat the QC and we'll see what goes on. Yeah, so that's just it. It's fun. It's fun. You know, you learn daily. You might not experience the same thing like what you experience today might not be what you experience tomorrow you have different patients different things and we learn every day so guys please i'll say this again if you're here to do this subscribe to my channel like my videos share my videos guys please let's go to 1k subscribers i really desire to go to 1k subscribers before the end of january and um we are still around 400 and something as at the time i'm making this video guys please and um, please do well to share my videos i know you have some colleagues um that are that desire to come to the uk or desire to travel abroad to work as biomedical scientist or medical laboratory scientist please share my videos with your friends your colleagues please like my videos and engage with my videos if there's any kind of video you like me to shoot please um let me know in the comment section don't be shy you get don't be shy thank you guys so i think i'll talk to you guys later i don't know i'm not sure I i'm able to just do this video because i'm the only one here <laughs> in the tea room i'm the only one here at the moment so i'm not sure the next time i pick up my camera might be any other time i might match this video with another video so guys yeah bye for now so guys it's your girl like um I'm on my lunch break now so actually you know I started this vlog by talking about QC failure so this vlog is actually about practical steps I took um, 
apparently after the reconstitution and all of that the QC still failed and the next thing I did was to um, change the reagent and for the PT reagent we, are, we usually reconstitute, reconstitute it before oh, um, loading it so I reckon um, we had the reagent on ground as we reconstituted and I loaded it and QC passed yay so guys um um, I hope this video is able to help in your interview or even in the lab as you work in the lab as a biomedical scientist or a medical laboratory scientist. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I don't know if I'm still going to add another vlog to this one. It might just be this vlog alone talking about QC failure only. And guys, please, I'm encouraging you. Don't give up. If you are, if you are still applying for interview <clears throat> and you have not gotten an invite despite doing everything to your SI, to your application, don't give up. Maybe you try. You should try applying for Bantevu Bandit rules or just try something different or maybe, just maybe you should try another specialty you feel you are strong in work on your SI, tweak your SI and your job description and let's see how it goes so guys say bye from your girl like in Kafalabi bye